back to my channel. So today I kind of wanted to show you the three plants that I have imported recently and kind of talk about it. Um, if you're on a budget like me and probably most of us, this is a good way to kind of add some more rare or expensive varieties to your collection without paying a lot, but there is a risk involved. So um, let me start with the ones that I have most recently imported and I'm going to show you kind of what I did because you can still see the roots on these guys. So the first one I imported was this Philodendron Mame. And I've actually got this in two parts here and I do have a chunk upstairs in my propagation box. But I import these from Equigenera and I went to the Equigenera website, not the US site, but the, I think, Ecuadorian version. Um, and this size mama, it all came together, was $40, which is way cheaper than if you had bought, you know, a, a ready to go plant. And I have had no issues with them shipping them to me. It's been, all been very good. But there is a risk when you're importing them that you're going to have to re-root them, which for me has been the case every single time, all three plants. So basically what I do is you get them in, they are wrapped with moss around the roots, and then they're wrapped in a little baggie because they can't ship them in soil. I think it's some kind of a, you know, like a rule about shipping plants, kind of, so you don't import pests or problems like that. So what I do when I get them, first thing I do is evaluate the roots. And this one, they needed to be all removed, which has been the case with all of them. So basically consider it like you're starting with a cutting. Um, you may lose it, but it's also, for me, worth the risk because of the savings. So this is how my roots are going now. This is about uh, maybe like 20 days in. So this isn't bad. And then this one does have a new growth point. They always send pretty big plants in my experience. You can see some new growth points here. But I mean, as to get this for $40, I'm willing to do the rehab work on it. The other one I picked up in that order is this Philodendron Pastazanum. And this one here I have all in one piece. And I did cut all the roots off of this one as well. You can see it's starting to grow some new ones. And I don't know, if I was brave, I could probably cut this chunk off and throw it in a box and then see. Because I do see some buds on here that could possibly push out new growth but I'm not that brave right now. So this one I'm just gonna leave like this. But we've already got a new growth point and the roots are starting, so I think this one is gonna be fine too. And then the third one that I imported, this was the first one I ever imported and I did this probably back in March. So it's probably been three, four months on this guy. This is an Anthurium forgetii. Now I haven't had any new growth on it yet but like the others, this one came, I had to cut off all the roots because the roots on this one had dried out and they were kind of like, they would just snap. So I cut all the roots off and I propagated it in water. After about a month, a month and a half, it was ready to go in soil. Um, so it's been potted up now. And like I said, I'm waiting for it to put out new growth. That's kind of the risk you take. First off, you could lose it because it's technically like a cutting and it's stressed. And then also now I do have to wait longer for it to acclimate and kind of start pushing out growth again because it was concentrating on rooting and getting used to my um, environment. So, you know, it does take a little longer. But this guy I picked up, I think, for like $50. Whereas if I had gone to a plant store, I know I would have paid like, well, probably close to $200, um, at least in the ones I've seen around me, something like this. And then the Mame, I think I saw in a store recently, I think was close to 200 or 220. I don't remember, but I know that it was way more than I would have ever paid. So to get it for 40 and just take a chance on rehabbing it. And things like philodendrons, they seem to root really well. They seem to kind of want to grow and want to survive. So, you know, that's a good plant to kind of start out on. I wouldn't start with a varicosum. I've seen that they do not acclimate as well. But these here, the Pastazanum, the Mame, both doing good for me. The Anthurium Forgetii, this one did really well for me. Anthurium's put out great roots. So, just something to consider um, if you are looking to get kind of more rare, like I say rare, um, just harder to find or more expensive to bring home. 
it's a good way to kind of add to your collection and get something a little bit different than you can find at your big box stores. So um, I hope this video maybe encouraged you to think about importing plants if you've been kind of looking into it. Do keep in mind that, like I said, there's a risk you could lose the plant, but so far I've had really good luck as long as you baby them a little bit. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.